Welcome back, everybody, to another Taskmaster Challenge here on Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And Brother Monroe suggested this one, and we all agree he has completely lost his mind, but it's going to be fun anyway. So here's what we're doing. This one's called The Prize. The year and country are the Admiral's choice, and you may unlock all halls as well. Starting at 25,000 meters, you must engage the following fleet. Japan, 1935 Tech, one battleship, two light cruisers, six destroyers. You get one destroyer. If someone manages to sink the battleship and no one else does, they win. If two or more of us sink the battleship, then the person who sunk it in the shortest time is the winner. If none of us sinks the enemy battleship, then we're all losers. Prepare to dodge some fish. So the whole point of this is to take this lone destroyer and sink this lone battleship. So let's do it. So my thought process is that this thing has to be as fast as possible uh, while simultaneously being able to survive. Um, but obviously, you know, things like armor aren't going to matter here. Uh, but I want the, the biggest destroyer possible. We have this modern destroyer leader uh, here that is up to 3,950 tons. Uh, so I think that's probably the one that we're going to want to go with in this case. Oh, well, that's weird. It says we can't go any higher than that. So 35 appears the max. All right, so this is what we're going to go with. My plan is to put as many torpedo tubes on this thing as possible, have it be as fast as possible. Let me look at the stats on these different ones and see if there's something a little better. Floatability, resistance. Yeah, it seems like we probably got about as good a chance with this one as anything. All right, so let's look at towers. We do have to have one main gun on this thing, no matter what, and it's completely worthless, so we're gonna use one two barrel. Because this is all about torpedoes. Got major torpedo spotting with this rear tower, though it does take up a little more space. Okay, now it's all about, well, we need funnels. We're gonna probably need multiple funnels. because of the speed involved. I think we want to go higher than the 40 knots we currently have. Uh, we're going to try to mix up the tubes as much as we can. I'll throw those way up front. This is going to use a lot of weight, these things, but I got to do it. No, I guess it wasn't too bad. How about some triples now? because we're probably only going to get one shot at this. So it's going to be important that we make the most of the shot that we have. We're getting close on weight now. Okay. Um, let's do this. Let's switch our explosives to something that's a little less likely to be an issue. Probably going to need at least some acoustics on this thing. I don't know how much it'll weigh to go all the way up to Sonar 3. Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. The torpedoes are going to be what weighs a lot. Yeah, that's a problem. Um, let's go with electric torpedoes. Uh, Rangefinder doesn't matter. Radar's not going to matter. We could probably go with fewer torpedoes and, and gain some of the weight back. Our aft weight offset is crazy high right now. Uh, we could switch to Krupp 4 armor and that'll save us a little bit. But you can see how much this is going to do to try and protect the thing. Oh boy. So I think maybe we go with a standard amount of protection and we just hope that we're going fast enough that he can't hit us until it's too late. I'm definitely going to have to drop a lot of these torpedo tubes, though. Unfortunately. So I've been playing around with the weight, trying to figure out what I can get away with. Uh, I've dropped one of the funnels. Uh, I've reduced the number of 
torpedo uh, tubes that I'm carrying. I actually reduced the torpedoes themselves because you can see the difference there. Um, I have to go down on bulkheads. I've had to change my aux engines, my shaft. Uh, I've reduced most of the protections and I've actually had to go down to 22 inch torpedoes because I figure right now speed probably matters more than anything else that I have going for me because I've got to be able to outrun his escorts or I have no chance with this because it's bad enough I've got to deal with the battleships. I've also got to deal with his escorts. So let's see what happens. All right, here we go. This is going to be interesting. Spoke, smoke spotted to the north. I'm going to hope I can get around and get out in front. I just got to guess which way he's going, and I'm hoping he's going this way. If he's not, well, the whole plan's kind of messed up already. So, okay, smoke spotted to the northwest. That means he's going the opposite direction. So we're going to go nice and fast, and we're going to head kind of on the west intercourse, or <laughs> intercourse, intercept course. And we've got to try and get out front of his escorts as best we can. Well, we spotted his escort ships. Question is, where's the big boy? I'm surprised they haven't put torpedoes in the water yet. Is that him back there? Let's slow down for a minute and see. Yeah, that's him. I think I'll still try to go around this way. Honestly surprised they haven't put their torpedoes in the water yet. Oh, they have. I just wasn't spotting them. Interesting. All right, smoke in the water. Not to be confused with smoke on the water which is a song. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get around these guys. You know what? I can probably afford to get away with one, one salvo at the enemy here. In fact, we'll fire them at the, the battleship figuring that they're between me and him. So maybe they'll get in the way and a couple of them will get nailed by him. And these guys are in close to me now. I gotta worry about their secondaries or their uh, the main guns on the light cruisers. Yeah, I don't think any of those torpedoes are gonna hit him. Just gotta hope he doesn't get a lucky shot on me. That's the main issue right now. One stray torpedo or one lucky shot from a gun and I'm done. Oh, hey. Looks like we landed a couple of hits with our destroyer, uh, on a destroyer, with our torpedoes. We don't have a lot of torpedoes, but I think I've got enough to permit another shot at this if I can. Okay, there's the first hit on me from a three inch gun. Even the threes are doing damage. That's the problem. Oh my gosh, look at those. One of those hits me, I'm toast. What stinks about this is I could possibly get the hits on the torpedo or the torpedoes at the battleship but that doesn't mean I'll survive long enough to actually see him sink so we may never even get to know oh here we go again oh 
All right, we're in close enough that I, it's probably worth a try to go ahead and throw some out there. Did that destroyer never sink? He didn't. He survived. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, man. Every time I see him fire his big guns, I hold my breath. Oh, this is dangerous to try and get in this close to him. I've still got two and a half minutes before I can fire smoke again. Alright, let's hold any further torpedoes. Oh. So far it's just the oh the battleship hit me with his three inch guns. I was gonna say so far it's just been the escorts hitting me. Alright, our triples are gonna have their chance in a second here. But I've gotta make it count. Oh boy. Avoid this torpedo. Alright, smoke's ready. Alright, let's go ahead and fire the triples. We'll get our doubles again in a second. I'm going to get my chance to be close to him. Whether or not it's enough, I don't know. Because we're going to need more than just a couple of torpedoes to hit him. Especially now that I had to go down to the 22s. Get a look at him because I think we're about to hit him with a couple. We might get three right here. Nah, just two. And I was hoping I'd get really lucky with a magazine detonation, but that's not going to happen. We only got two compartments flooded. All right, more torpedoes in the water. I don't like the angle we're at for these, but not much I can do about that. Yeah, you can see two torpedoes just didn't even do close to the kind of damage I need. Oh boy. Oh, now he's got some flooding. Oh, man, I've just been so lucky he hasn't nailed me with a lucky hit somewhere. Because that's really all it takes is one. Man, I have no torpedoes available right now. And now's when I really need them because this is where I... This is where I could get the money shot and take him out. Oh. But I've got a good... Uh, three minutes at least until I can get one off. Okay, we just got a few in the water. Beautiful. Come on, baby. This is our chance. In fact, I probably need to get away from him now. It's now or never. Now or never, these torpedoes either hit him or I don't get a sinking. Oh, the worst thing right now would be to get sunk before I see the outcome of these torpedoes. Because I think I've got him. Oh, if just even one of those shells hits me, that would be it. I got you. I got you. One, two, three, four, five. Come on. 
Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! There's the ammo detonation. All right, so took about 44 mi 43 minutes to take him down. Beautiful. All right, let me know your thoughts about that, guys. Make sure you check out the links to everybody else's videos. Uh, it doesn't matter what happens to my destroyer now. So, And if you have a suggestion for next week's Taskmaster Challenge, let us know. Thanks for watching.